Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Connie Douglas from Great Stamping with Connie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. It is Thursday evening and I would like to welcome you to Connie's Craft Along. Thank you so much for stopping by this evening. I hope that uh, you have some time to, to chat and visit and maybe do some crafting. Um, whatever, it's up to you. You don't have to craft, but uh, I will be crafting and I will share that with you. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to multitask. How am I doing here? Never good, right? <laughs> I, and I will apologize. Good grief. I'm late getting started. Just when you think you're all set up and you're ready and then, uh, you know, something happens. It's like, oh no, I have to do that. Oh. Anyway, I think I have everything. I uh, think I have everything I need. I'm not sure. I hope so. Anyway. We are going to start and we'll see what I'm missing and then maybe I'll go get it. I am just uh, going to open up my Facebook page here so I can see comments. So if you are on here with me, do say hello and uh, let me know that you're you're watching. And welcome, welcome again. Uh, what do I have to share? Well, the new catalog is live. The new annual catalog is live and that's just very, very exciting. Uh, there's so many wonderful things in there. Oh, look, there's Lorna and Donna. Hello, ladies. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, Lorna, yes, good to see you too. Haven't seen you for a while. Feels like uh, we've had a bit of a long stretch this time. I know uh, it's been a busy time, but uh, glad you're here this evening. So, um, well, sorry, I'm just looking. I have something on here. It's like, what is this and where did this come from? Mm, not sure, but it's okay. Uh, so the new catalog is live. Um, Stamp a Stack is coming. That is Saturday, May 13th. That's an in-person event in Unionville, uh, which is GTA. So if you are in the GTA area at all or somewhere uh, near Markham, Unionville, whatever, would love to have you join us. We will be crafting. We will be using new products from the new annual catalog, new colors, um, and it's just a fun afternoon of uh, casual crafting, 16, 16 projects. So um, they're repeats though, they're not all different. So it does uh, it does go by, uh, you know, you're able to do them quickly when you're doing multiples. So uh, yes, I think that's, uh, that's kind of about the news on the stamping front. Getting ready to go to the cottage. We are going to the cottage uh, tomorrow morning, We're going to, sort of hopefully officially open, get the water on, uh, get things kind of set up for the summer season, get the covers off the furniture, get the pictures. I take the pictures down in the sunroom because we don't have curtains in our sunroom. So the sun comes in all winter. So I don't want, I don't want pictures on the wall uh, where it's faded, the, the paint or anything. So uh, I do tend to take those down and then of course you have to get them put back up and make the beds and get the water going and yeah it's always a busy time but it's a it's a good time we uh, opening the cottage is always exciting so alrighty but tonight we're gonna do some crafting and you know full disclosure yet again <laughs> get ready for the adventure we are doing a fun fold I think I know what I'm doing but I had cut some pieces and I was going to put one together just to make sure and I kind of uh, ran out of time for that. So I have not actually assembled one of these cards. So, you know, we're flying by the seat of our pants, but that's not really anything new, is it? We will work it out. We will get to a card one way or another, because we always do, don't we? All right, let me put us down here. And ah, Melissa, hello and welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. So, here are the bits and pieces that we need for this evening. We have a piece of cardstock that is eight and a half by four and a quarter. And you want to score that at one and a half inches and seven inches. And um, I did say on here that you need your trimmer. We will be doing a little bit of cutting on this piece. So it's not difficult, but just so you know. And then you have uh two pieces of cardstock that are four and one quarter by three two of those a piece of patterned paper designer series paper that is four high 
and five and a quarter wide. And I said that because that's going to go into our card this way. So hopefully uh, that makes sense to you if your paper has a pattern, if you're or a, a direction. Um, hey, hey, Melissa, <laughs> this one doesn't really have a direction. It could have gone this way, but it's going to go on that way. So uh, basic white cardstock. And I said about two and a half by four. These are actually a little bit smaller than that size because I die cut them. Uh, this is the new Country Corners die, one of the dies from that set. Oh, do I have an extra? Oh, I do. That's okay. You only need three. Apparently, I have four. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> and then some punched or uh, die cut or fussy cut interest elements. So I have uh, stamped and punched some flowers from the Petal Park stamp set. So I will decorate with those. And then the usual stamps and ink, some adhesive at any embellishments you might want to use, and your trimmer, because as I said, we will be cutting this card base a little bit. So I did get as far as cutting my other card base. Uh, so this is what we are, are aiming for. So we're just going to cut angles on the top and the bottom on these little scored edges. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, uh, just hold these, gosh, <laughs> Is that one? Fold these in, burnish them with our bone folder, and they will not meet in the middle. Obviously, they're only one and a half inches, but that's what you have. And then you are going. Oh, I didn't mention a ruler. You are going to need something to measure with, um, because we do have to measure down three quarters of an inch. So if you are working on grid paper, of course you have that handy. So three quarters of an inch, and I'm just going to make a little mark here, and just move that over a little mark here. Okay, flip it around. Mary, hello! My gosh, you are such a busy girl. Uh, hard to catch up with you, but it's so nice that you're here this evening. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Uh, three quarters of an inch there, and then three quarters of an inch here as well okay so i just have little little hash marks on there and then you are just going to bring in your trimmer and you're going to go from that three quarter mark to the score line where you fold it so you're just going to cut a little bit of an angle this way that right over you might need to get up on the, the cutting edge here there we go. And we're going to do the same at the top. It's not uh, probably making it funny on camera, but let's see what I was doing. There we go. Okay. Oh, I guess that was all right, isn't it? And then same thing down on this edge. Three quarters score line and the same thing up here. I have shadows and that's part of the problem. So. There we go. Okay, so you should have four angled corners on your card base now. And these scraps are not part of the card if you have something else you want to do with them that's awesome otherwise you can you know put them into the recycling bin <laughs> okay so now what we are going to do the designer series paper is going to go right down into this section here okay so i am going to put that down because there's nothing nothing going on with it <laughs> so it's safe to do it hello leah Welcome. Glad you could stop by this evening. We are we we have started down the adventure path to see where we end up. And I say that because I've already fessed up that I have not actually completely made one of these cards. So, you know, it's always an adventure, isn't it? But we have fun. <laughs> so. 
So the rain is supposed to be over and we're supposed to be getting some semi-decent weather this weekend, which would be lovely because I am very ready for spring. So basically what this card is going to do at this point, we are going to attach one of these on this side and then this will fold in and the other one will be attached on this side. So that the only tricky part is you need to make sure that, you know, this one covers and you want them kind of centered so that this amount is about the same as that amount. So we will, that's what we're aiming for. And then, uh, then we'll do some stamping. So I guess uh, I think the, attach these right now. So when you are attaching these, you want to, you'll notice that um, the blue, the lighter blue, which happens to be boho blue. Hello, Nancy, welcome. Uh, one of the new in colors and, and just an awesome color. Um, it is all on the navy at this point, um, but it's not as we move forward. So you need to be just a little bit careful with your adhesive that you don't go um, right out to the very edge as you move in. And as well, you don't want to come over too far because it's not going to, uh, it's just going to be sitting on this tab. So, oops, it's interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to do that. And then what I want to do is just kind of set this. It was about this much. I think I can actually bring this down towards me, but I'm not. Maybe see it a little bit better. I'm still in the camera. <laughs> and then I'm going to fold this over and then I'm just going to kind of cover this and see how we're looking. It could actually come forward a little bit on here. A little bit wider. And I suppose if this one is a little bit wider here, it's going to get covered. So you're not really going to notice unless you're, you know, really doing a, a big side-by-side -side compare. Because this one could overshadow just a Okay. Whoop! And then you, you want to make sure they stay even top to bottom. Okay, so this is just over a little bit further than this. But I'm going to leave it like that because then I know this is covered. So I'm just going to give that a good press. And that's, that is essentially our card right there. Okay, <laughs> Not to give it all away. but uh, So then we are going to put um, one of these pieces of white. And if you just cut it into a rectangle to go in here, that's fine. Uh, it doesn't have to be a die cut shape. This. I am just going to adhere this. This is where you would write your uh, your message to whoever you are sending this to. Just going to put that right in there. You could make this one a little bit larger if you thought you might want to say more things, but I didn't want to cover up too much of this really pretty paper. So I left it smaller, um, but you also need to just remember that you don't want it any taller than these pieces. So. These are three inches, so you don't want to go out here or that would show, okay? And then we have two more pieces and these are for stamping. So I have pulled out, <laughs> I might need this one, uh, this stamp a fair amount. This is from the um, Something Fancy stamp set. So it's not new, it was out in the mini catalog. Uh, January to April. So I did get it then because amazing. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching out the celebration. <laughs> I will probably, uh, I've already used it to, send, um, you know, for all those times when you, you want to send someone a card, but you forget that it's your birth, their birthday until um, <laughs> you go onto Facebook one day and it says, oh, today is so-and-so's birthday. It's like, oh, yes, I was supposed to send them a card and I did not. So um, that's when that's when you pull the stamp out and you pretend that, you, you know, you were just waiting because you wanted to extend the celebration. 
And if they know you, they probably won't believe you, but, you know, we must try, right? So there we go. There is our sentiment on there. And then, so I'm going to put this, uh, oh, I could put this one in here too. What do I want to put on the outside then? So many decisions. I was thinking, I pulled this out, circle side out. Oh, I could put some cupcakes on there. Um, and then I was thinking I could just say, uh, I could just put a happy birthday on there. I'm not sure if the large, I don't think the large happy birthday will fit. I think it is too large. But the next size down, this is uh, go to greetings. This was also in the last mini catalog. And this was uh, this, one of the stamp sets that I suggested everyone needs to have in their craft stash because it just covers everything, right? Birthday, thinking of you, just a note. Thank you. Uh, hello. You should get this. If you didn't get this before, you should get it now because uh, it's an awesome stamp set. It's all different sizes, different fonts, and all of the sentiments that we need all the time. So, there we go. I am just, uh, do you do this? Do you ever test that you've got your stamps mounted straight? So, what I do is I bring in a piece of scrap paper and then I will ink it up and I'm going to line up the edge of my block with something that I know is a straight edge. And graph paper is awesome because then you can even see where it fits uh, on your graph paper. But um, you can also look and see and just make sure that it is straight and it looks pretty good. So I am going to... <laughs> go with that. I did, however, get an awful lot of ink on this stamp. My goodness. <laughs> a little bit heavy-handed into the ink pad, so I'm just going to clean that off before I use it again, so that hopefully I don't end up with, uh, you know, happy birthday shadows all over the place. So, okay. All right. We'll start start clean, but I think I will still continue to use my navy ink. Seems to be very juicy. Uh, oh, because it's new. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Speaking of new ink pads being very juicy, so if you uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you've probably seen this. And uh, where did I put the cards? Hmm. One moment. Here we go. Okay, so I was playing with um, the Crafting With You stamp set yesterday. And if you haven't seen this one, oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Look at all the crafts it covers. Painting, sewing, uh, knitting, crocheting, stamping, of course. And then there's dies with an embroidery hoop and a ruler and spools of thread and paper snips and our paper trimmer and just like... It's awesome and it's a lot of fun. So, uh, <laughs> but I was stamping uh, this one, the stamp and cut emboss machine, and it wasn't giving me it wasn't giving me this definition. It was looking very inky and blobby. Uh, so I thought it was because I had a new ink pad because I was using uh, I was using blueberry bushel, and this is what I was getting. And it's like, oh dear, there's just way too much ink on that ink pad. So if you have too much ink on your ink pad, what you do is you take, um, I use a plastic spoon, you can use anything blunt and uh, sort of pliable, and you just push the ink. Um, you can I tend to push it from the center out to the edges. You can push it all up to one end. You just want to move the ink from one area of the ink pad somewhere else, and then you... Uh, that's where you would stamp your stamp in this, the part that you've just pushed the ink away from so that you don't have as much ink that you're going into. So I did that and I still, um, this is a little bit better. It did have a few white spots, but it was still way too juicy. So, I, okay, maybe it's the ink pad and I don't know. I'll just try a different one. So I got out Lost Lagoon 
And I got the same thing. And I'm thinking now, so now I'm thinking, oh my gosh, maybe my stamp is defective. Uh, no, the stamp is not defective. I have used it previously and and I got this. So this was another new ink pad and there is a lot of ink on there and you don't see a lot of the detail here, which is why this is not on the card, but, um, but there was, you know, there was some detail and yes, Mary, yes. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so here's how it turned out when I had the stamp on right side up, <laughs> I had the stamp on upside down and you can see, you know, here's the plate coming out to the left and really the, the base should go out to the right. Oh my goodness. So when you're working with photopolymer stamps and they're not giving you the definition that you think they should, it might not be a defective stamp. <clears throat> it might be <coughs> operator error. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, lots of fun. Anyway, that was my uh my silly moment yesterday. So I had a good laugh. Flipped the uh, oh, cleaned the stamp flipped it over, tried again, and got a nice image. So I had to fess up. I just had to share. Oh, a little bit of, uh, a little, little tiny bit of ink. So I think I'm going to, I could flip it over. You like, you know what? I was thinking that it's not, um, it's, it's backwards. So you couldn't overlay them or something, but you could, you could maybe use that. Oh, it's not in the picture, is it? You could perhaps use that for something. So I've just sort of cut around it because I had to, you know, fess up and share with people. But anyway, it was all very interesting. But I think we can, uh, oh, you know what? We're going to put flowers on here. So guess what? Nobody's going to know that we had ink there. It'll be fine. So I'm stopping now. I'm closing the ink pad so that I don't get ink anywhere else that I don't want it. And we will finish assembling this card. Just going to clean my stamp because of course we know that if I don't clean them now, I tend to forget. So, you know, it's it's all those squirrels. Squirrels in the craft studio. I don't know. There's so many distractions. There's so many fun things and so many things that I want to do. And yes, anyway, I am easily distracted in here. So anyway, we will get these cleaned off and then they will be good and I won't have forgotten them. Okay, so I think that I'm going to put this one in here and I cut, I cut six of these flowers. I could, we could put some inside, but we'll start with the outside because I'm not sure, not sure how many I want to use out there. So I just, I did six. See what that would Cover, cover enough. Put this down on here. So Mary, are you uh, are you finished traveling for a little while, or are you off somewhere else again soon? <laughs> enjoying hope you're enjoying retirement so it seems like you've had had a good winter and had an opportunity to do do a few things that you might not have been able to do <laughs> when you still had to work so oh i'm glad you like this card this is uh i don't think i mentioned at the beginning the uh designer series paper that i'm using is from the the cottage corners suite as well. Um, which is which is in here somewhere. Will I be able to find it quickly? Let's just we're gonna do a quick mm hmm <laughs> yeah not so much there. I didn't mark it because I wasn't sure I was hadn't hadn't really thought about showing it but uh, anyway oh here we go right here and it's a little bit difficult to see, but it is all blues, balmy blue, misty moonlight, boho blue, and night of navy. And it is to 
die for gorgeous. Uh, so you must check that one out. I love it. But I mean, I will confess, blue is my favorite color. So um, this is all one stamp, which it seems odd, but I will show you. And the dies that coordinate with it are all nested. So there's a number of dies, and I used one of them for this shape. But when you stamp this, and die cut it, this is what you get. This is the, uh, like, it's so, so easy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then there is just another small one um, that I didn't cut with this. And let me, this might show better if I put it onto something so you can see. You can see that. Look at all those beautiful frames with the stamping on them. And it's, it, you can cut them all in one fell swoop. So that is one run through the cut and emboss machine. So it's not like it takes forever to create all of this. You do that one fell swoop. So yes, I am looking forward to playing with this. And I love this paper. <laughs> I ordered some in pre-order and I'm running out. So I have ordered more. And I haven't even done a class or anything with it yet. So that's still to come. <laughs> but I do love it. For anyone coming to the stamp stack, yes, there will be some of that. I think. Pretty sure I used it in one of the cards. Did I? Oh, I can't see them because I put them over there to start cutting. Anyway, it'll be around. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Mary, you are staying home for a bit. Lots to get done in the backyard. Yeah, welcome to spring. Hey, is everybody, uh, it's, it, we're almost at the point where we can uh, start raking. For anyone that has not raked yet, thank you. Um, the bees and the butterflies and uh, all the, the little uh, bugs and things that we need. Thank you for leaving their habitat and their food source for them. So, uh, yes, Lorna, the catalogs are being mailed out. I am putting the packages together now and they will be going out uh, probably next week. For anyone that is coming to the stamp stack, your catalog will be waiting for you there. And um, if, if for some reason you are not on my mailing list and you would like a catalog, you just need to reach out to me and let me know and I will make sure you get one. So. Okay. So I stamped these flowers in boho blue and then night of navy. This is the uh, Petal Park set. Do I have it here? Or do I, do I, I have a lot. Oh, I do. I did pull it out. So Petal Park. So there is the uh, two-step stamping, uh, but you stamp all three flowers at the same time. So it's just stamping twice. And then there's a punch that punch out, punches all three with one punch. So again, it's quite, quite quick to create with. Quite quick to create with. <laughs> Say that fast. Say. Okay. Put it like that. Now this guy is definitely going to need some bling. <laughs> now I put dimensionals on all of these, so I don't, I don't know. I have to find some. I wonder if I have any flat gems. Hmm. Hmm. I don't. Oh, maybe just one over here. Is that too big? No. Go down the bottom. Or just some bling. Or a couple. Okay, creative ladies, what do we think? Um, one flower, two flower, three flowers, both sides, top, bottom. Or should I put them on the inside? I 
I think once you put it down, you won't, uh, you won't need it. I, I ended up with more room down here. So I was thinking maybe I'll stick this one down here. I might have to pull those dimensionals off of the other one and maybe we'll stick a couple of them. I could do this, couldn't I? I could do something like that. Might work with dimensionals, I don't know. It might be a little poofy, but uh, we'll give it a go. Since I already put them in here. I think that works. Okay, but we still need some bling, right? Gotta have some bling. Iridescent pearls, they are lovely. Uh, These are the uh, brushed metallic, that's the copper. Hmm. A little bit interesting. Kind of like that. <laughs> it's different. It's not, uh, not exactly what you would expect, I think, is what's grabbing me. Maybe we'll do this. We'll give it a go. See what we think. You like them all. Oh, Lorna. <laughs> I'm glad you like them all. <laughs> I went ahead and made the decision. So, yes. We only did one on the outside, but I did use the other two. So, oh, so sticking backwards. Fine. Now it's really sticking. Oh, goodness. I take your pick putty is uh, a little bit, gone a little bit wild. There we go. How's that? This is a super easy fold, but kind of different. And that's what, uh, that's what caught my eye. And it's easy to make the first time on camera. <laughs> Turned out okay. Look at that. It wasn't uh, wasn't as much of an adventure as it might have been, or as <laughs> they are sometimes. So um, I did uh, cut another one, very similar. I used the same paper. This is another piece uh, of the same pack of paper. So this one has little foxes on it. And the backs are, um, as is typically the case, quite muted patterns. This is awesome for masculine cards. Uh, I forget what was on the back of that one. I'm sorry, I did not show you. So same thing again on here. You would measure uh, from the top corner, you would measure down three quarters of an inch and cut your angles on that. So that's what I have done on that one. And this paper under here. I don't have um, I don't have a lot of animal dyes to cut some animals. And I thought afterwards, oh, I do have a ladybug. I wasn't, uh, wasn't certain that a ladybug was quite what I was after. So I ended up with some uh, sprigs. This is from the Dainty Delights dyes. And they too were in the last mini catalog with all those all those beautiful flowers. Where did I have it out here? All of these and the beautiful uh, flowered designer series paper that you got uh, for free during celebration. So that's where these are from, from the dyes from that. Just gonna put this one down on the inside. And again, small so that it doesn't cover up too much of this really beautiful designer series paper. And this time the blue uh, is slightly different. It's balmy blue. So it's not boho blue. I've used, oh, that's not really in the middle, is it? Do, 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 saved it. <laughs> um, they both have Knight of Navy backgrounds and I've used Knight of Navy cardstock for the card base. And then this color is Misty Moonlight, which was an in color, and they have brought it back to be part of our core colors. And then this is uh, Balmy Blue. So 
So lots of blues <laughs> makes me very happy. <laughs> and it must be very popular because the the color palette is quite seems quite heavily weighted with blues, different blues, green blues. I mean, even pretty peacock and lost lagoon lost lagoon are they're blue, uh, but a definite green tone to them. But there's uh, definitely a lot of blue in the color palette between the in colors and the new core colors that I've brought in. So uh, hopefully, even if blue is not your favorite color, it's a color that you do like because there's a lot of it. And I have to think that it's. Uh, it's a trending color these days because Stampin' Up! is usually very spot on with their colors and that's trending. So now the in colors, that's where you see the trends. Uh, those are a very warm, organic, earth tone sort of colors this time. And they are, uh, they are lovely as well. So, so shall we put some, uh, some flowers onto this one. Oh, maybe this one. Let me do some. Oh, huh. new stamp set. <laughs> this is the Dainty Dainty Delight stamp set, and it was in the catalog all through the last mini, and I didn't get it until very late in the game, and as you can see, I have not even used all of the stamps yet. So, let's do that. When you get your stamps, there is a protective backing on the rubber stamp. I'm just going to make sure it will fit on here. Yes, that will be okay. We need one angle. Uh, this is the sticker sheet and you can see that there is a cut in the uh, cover on the sticker. So you want to pull the whole thing off. Image backing, pull nine yards. Pull that all off and set it on your clear block. Okay, and then you are going to remove this covering. So bring in your stamp. I've already taken the back off of that. And then you are going to just hover over it. And whoops, be careful because once once it's down, you only get one shot at this. Okay, so I have just touched that very, very lightly, so I was able to get it off. But uh, generally speaking. You get one kick at that. You cannot get that sticker off of that stamp now. So you do want to sort of uh, go slow, take your time, make sure you have it lined up the way you want it, and then uh, stick it down. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to bring in a piece of scrap paper here. And for this one, perhaps I will use some boho blue. These flowers. Just, oh no, sorry, not boho blue. This one's balmy blue. <laughs> I don't want that. I could use Misty Moonlight. That might work. Just to be different, right? Let me see. I do have it here. Okay, since I have it here, we will use it. <laughs> Misty Moonlight. And we'll just put some of these flowers onto here. Oh, that's lovely. This was always one of uh, one of my favorite colors when it was an in color. I did really like it. So there we go. It's not quite centered. Guess where a gem is going? <laughs> oh, maybe we'll use this on the inside as well. And uh, I was thinking perhaps this sentiment. This is from the crafting. Whoops, wrong box. Crafting with you. Sending you a handmade hug. I think that's a a lovely sentiment. So I think that I will use that for this one. Where's my I I saw too many stamp sets on my desk. Oh, there it is. So half of a stamp and pierce mat to provide some cushioning because this is a photopolymer stamp. So Add a little cushioning under my cardstock. Okay. 
Lovely. Okay. Close this up. Oh, do I want to put, I could put, uh, I could put some flowers. Maybe I want some more, a little bit. Hmm. So, i try this one. Oh, save. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll close this up for a moment. How are we doing for time? Quarter two. I can do it. I have 15 minutes. I can, I can mount another sticker and get another sticker onto the stamp and do it. A lot of times when I uh, get a new stamp set, I do put them all together all at once. But apparently I didn't with this one. But I usually try to do that because then they're all ready to go. Because once you start using a stamp set, you just, you know, you tend to dive in and um, use all of them, even if you started out with a card that only has one. Okay, pull this off. Pull it out of the way. Take the backing off. And that is okay. I think uh, this should work well. Just to uh, here. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I do a little bit over here. I think lower though, right? Maybe not quite as much. Yeah, I hope you like it because I've stamped it. <laughs> mm, I wonder if this, you know, you know what? I think if I tried putting anything else on there to sort of even that out, it would mess it up. So I think that just needs the gem or maybe some of this because I don't know. See, now the dilemma is which one do you put on the front? Let's see. I was thinking these would go out the back, but they could dangle out the front. Hmm. Which goes where? Okay, so this could go inside, and this could go out here with. Well, these almost need to be on there because. It's blue on blue, isn't it? Well, maybe uh, like this. And hmm. need it backwards. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't know that I want this on the front of the card either. I kind of think I want this on the front of the card. But then I don't know that I want this with it. Maybe we don't use those. Or maybe, you know what? I have another one of these somewhere. Oh, look, right here. Maybe I'll do round two. <laughs> See if I can get the uh, the image over a little bit so it's a little more centered. And that might, that might help my brain. I do this right there. Here. It is more centered. I'm not loving it. It's not, uh, not just not quite. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's not quite not quite in. <laughs> but I don't know what else to do with it. And I didn't uh, I didn't really cut anything else. I didn't prep any other pieces. So I think we need to kind of go with it. I think I can put this on dimensionals on the front. We will make these decisions, one little decision at a time, and see, see how it goes. Um, she says, as she stands for time. Usually I have so many little bits of things sitting on my desk, right? I could uh, rearrange just about anything, but I don't, I don't really see anything sitting. Heaven forbid, my desk is too tidy, eh? Um, I'm just wondering if I have any intentions close by. Probably not a lot, but I do have some. I have white cardstock. Just some white flowers? I don't think so. Hmm. Well. That does work under there. So it will probably work. Or maybe it should be this way. This way and this way. Hmm. Okay, so you know it's this is one of those cards when you have uh, sort of an idea in your head and it doesn't quite come together. And this is where I tell people, leave it on your desk and finish it in the morning. So it's just not quite coming together for me somehow. I may need to leave it and. And it'll be a surprise when I post it. You'll see. <laughs> you'll see what I ended up with. <laughs> so I'm not not entirely convinced about this yet. I do like it dangling over the edge. I do like that part. Okay. You know what? I'm going to uh, do 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 do. do. Stuff this to that, but that's not going to work now. And I didn't put um, I didn't put adhesive sheet on this because I was not sure what I was going to do with it or whether I was going to have some of them dangling, which is in fact the case. So we will just try. We'll bring back this uh, silicone wrap, and we will just get a little bit of glue onto. Hopefully, we will get a little bit of glue. On to come on, baby. Have a pen sitting here just in case. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, we're good. I'm just going to put a bit of glue down the center stem, and get these pieces a little bit because these are the ones getting tucked underneath and then the others will just dangle it up and same thing with this one we'll put this side going underneath Tuck it under here. Okay, I can uh, I can work with that. That works for me. And then uh, some decorations on here. What about these? Maybe these, eh? 
these are uh, iridescent and so they are lovely too. And they're different than what we used the last time. So let's uh, let's throw some of these on here. Well, and what about inside? Can we put uh, maybe the small ones? Put some of these small guys in here. Hopefully they're not not too fat, but we put dimensionals in the other ones, so I think it will be okay. I should have had two on this one, right? There. Okay. See? Ya. <laughs> there are no mistakes. There are only opportunities. So there we go. They're actually kind of different, aren't they? Um, same pattern, though. Super easy actually very quick once you uh, have made one they're they're easy to do and quick to do so there you have it two cards beautiful designer series paper a fun fold and uh, you know some crafting <laughs> life is good right oops I'm crooked again okay let me uh, let me come back up here with you there I am hello <laughs> thank you so much for joining me this evening um, it's been a lot of fun. Love, love hanging out with all of you. Love crafting and uh, having you join me on this crafting adventure. I really appreciate you uh, following along with me. Love to have you on this this ride. So, uh, oh, someone's left a comment. Got to put the glasses on. I can't see that little tiny print down there. Beautiful. Ah, thank you, Lorna. I'm so glad you like them. They are. Uh, something a little bit different. So give it a try. If you didn't craft along tonight, you have uh, the Facebook post with all the dimensions that you need and you've seen how they come together. Once again, really easy. So um, thanks again for hanging out with me. I hope to craft again with you really soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.